This Jamal lifted up your ass, and your faggoty face makes me laugh. Johnson, and this is my motherfucking Evil Within 2 review, motherfucker. Alright, let me start out by saying, Evil Within 1, that game was such a wild ride. It was the wildest ride, taking me way out of my mind. It was so crazy, it was like... I dove into some zombie's ass, licking all the way up its body, then eating its brain, then I get shit out and shot across the world and smacked by a giant mutant into a wall, sliding down to a big giant pile of shit, and then I gotta eat all that shit just to get out of there because I gotta find the hole on the bottom, and well, you know, it was so crazy, I don't even know what to say. But yeah, I love motherfucking scary games that make me want to shit my pants. They don't make me want to shit my pants. They make me shit my pants. And it dribbles down into my shoes and squishes around between my toes. And you know how I love that shit. Then I kick my foot right in your face and make you lick the shit right out of my toes, motherfucker. You want in too? I don't know. I got, I was so hyped to get this game because even within one, and then all of a sudden, I put it in. It was all of a sudden, who I put that game in. And uh, Sebastian, who was this quiet, quiet, cool guy from the first one, all of a sudden, he trying to be a badass hipster motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh I'm so badass. Motherfucker. Oh, I don't know if he says motherfucker, but I say motherfucker. Talking like, oh yeah, I'm such a badass, cause I'm Sebastian. Well, first of all, you got a faggoty name, Sebastian. I, I gotta admit, even though I liked it the first, I liked Evil Within 1, Sebastian's just a faggoty name. So, you a faggot. Don't try to act like you a badass. And uh, I don't know why they did this, but they tried to make him like a badass, kind of hipster, uh, Nathan Drake kind of guy. And uh, Nathan Drake, he just makes me want to slap him. Slap his face right off his skull. He's just a dick-sucking motherfucker. So anyway, don't know why they did that. But uh, all of a sudden, he turned from a, you know, a, a cool, quiet guy, whatever, into some some uh, alpha male trying to impress somebody. He ain't impressing me. I impress me. I impress everybody. Look at me, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm way better than Sebastian. Trying to be hardcore. I am hardcore. And people on the streets know I'm hardcore. Sebastian just a wannabe motherfucker, piece of shit all of a sudden. He was cool, he ain't cool now, motherfucker. So anyway, they turned him into a motherfucking hipster. All he needs is a beard with insects and dust. But, alright, whatever. I understand they were trying to tell a story, and he was angry. But come on, you don't have to change the character completely. And speaking of the story, they tried to tell a more, uh, more concise story. Is that a word? Concise? I guess so. But that actually makes the game worse, in my opinion, because you're not on your toes thinking, what the fuck is going on, motherfucker? Like, the first Evil Within, it was, like, crazy, like I said. And you couldn't really understand the story, and that kind of added to the craziness. Blowing my mind right out of my head. But this game little more understandable and, and I don't know I guess it's for the dumb people out there who don't know shit so they gotta you know everything's gotta be explained to them but whatever so uh let me look at my notes here uh oh okay okay so instead of having a wild adventure going to places you like you you twist and turn on the way you're gonna end up in all kinds of crazy situations they uh they tried to do an open, open area, not an open world, but like, you in these open areas, and uh, you just walk around these open areas and uh, peek into people's houses, look in the windows, trying to see if you see anybody having sex with the sex dolls and licking their, licking their little wooden assholes, but uh, sometimes you see some shit, but nothing like that. I think I spent half the game just walking around back and forth in those areas, walking around, you know, picking trash, to see if I was dead bodies, but there ain't no dead bodies in the trash cans, I don't know why, it's supposed to be a motherfucking horror game, but uh, there are some hoes, and you know, the only hoe in that game are the, uh, you know, the bitches hiding on the ground, and uh, sucking dick for $20 in the subway, but yeah, I spent so much time in that subway walking around, getting my dick sucked, and, so, I was kind of disappointed in that, but, 
I don't know. I mean, they do a trick a lot in this game where, like, you'll be going somewhere and you turn around, all of a sudden you're somewhere else. That's pretty cool, but then they kept doing it too many times, so many times, that you started expecting it maybe like one-third through the game, and they did keep doing it after that. It was kind of neat. You go into a house and it turns into a mini-level, but uh, too much walking around got boring after a while, and not only that, and that subway area was kind of boring too. I mean, it wasn't like a wild adventure. It had a couple of like zombies pop up here and there, or if they weren't zombies, I don't even know what they were. They were just these people trying to come after me with their tongues out like, oh yeah, let me suck your eyeballs out. I was like, come on, man. You don't got to suck my motherfucking eyeballs out. You can suck my motherfucking dick, bitch. Because I feel good in your mouth. But uh, they didn't want to do that shit. So, it felt like maybe half the game was just spent in these open town areas and in that sub tire towns and then they're all, like these guys just started popping back in. I was like, what the fuck? Wasted all my time clearing these out? And they tried to put some side quests in my Evil Within games. I want it to be a wild adventure. A crazy wild adventure like when you going down the road with me and my... my <clears throat> I don't want to even tell you what I got, but my car going 700 miles per hour jumping over the ramp. And when I'm talking about a ramp, I'm talking about bodies that I'm just running over because I don't give a motherfucking shit and we shooting our guns out and we don't care. You want to know why? Fuck you. Okay, back to the game. Not this casual, gonna walk around. Yeah, maybe I'll do this thing for this guy. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll go over here. I don't know. I'll just decide what I want to do. So I killed everybody, didn't get any reward for it, and the zombies just came back. I was like, what the fuck, come on, you waste my time, motherfucker. So, it ain't even worth my time. Even in stealth areas, I still run through everybody. I was like, ooh, hello, I'll try to grab your ass. Ooh, you turned around and saw me, I'm out of here. So yeah, with all these open areas, and then some sub-levels, like, they had some main levels, but like, you go into this thing... That thing, that the bathtub thing, like from the first one, where they take your clothes off and hook you up to this mom thing. I don't even know how to describe it to the people who don't know shit, so I ain't going to describe it anymore. But anyway, the entire world's like broken into these pieces. So like you're in this open area here, you go over there, whatever. I don't even know, I'm starting to babble now. But what I'm trying to say is it didn't feel like a connected adventure. It felt like... They broke it into little pieces, which made it feel shitty. Like, shittier than my shitty ass. And I got a shitty ass right now, because I took a shit, and I got bad stomach. I got bugs in my stomach, and they crawling down my intestines and gonna pop right under my ass. But anyway, let me talk about this guy. His name was O'Neal, and I hated that motherfucker. He was like one of the faggot guys that come out talking about the video game at the E3 presentation, you know. My game the best, my game is so cool, you should play my game, look at this game. And then they just show like a cinematic trailer, not really showing the game at all. He won them guys. And uh, one of my favorite parts when is when I got to kill that motherfucker. Yeah, that's a motherfucking spoiler. And if you don't like the spoiler... You can eat my ass. That's what I'm saying. Fuck you and fuck off. So, I was happy to kill that motherfucker. And, uh, speaking of motherfuckers, a weird, like this guy with a triangle hairpiece trying to take pictures of me when I'm in the bathroom taking a shit and jerking off. That guy's such a sick fuck. I don't know what he's doing with those pictures, but I heard, because I read it in a magazine, that that motherfucker was jerking off onto the pictures and then hanging them up on his wall as a, uh, you know, like it's a prized possession. Because, you know, he loved me and he wanted to jerk off on me and then hang it up to remember the moment. I don't know why he was doing that, so I killed him and shot his hairpiece right off. And I'm wearing that triangle hairpiece later tonight on a hot date because that girl gonna love it and she gonna suck my dick for twenty dollars she gonna pay me that's right because people pay me for that shit i don't pay for that shit i'm the greatest okay and uh other bosses they they like every boss fight in that game is the exact same thing you know 
walk right up to the back of his head, boom, shoot him until his head blows up, and then you shovel the shitty brains up and eat him, and then shit him out and put him right down his neck, and let him shit him out, and then, motherfucker, you chop his body up and throw it in the trash can, the trash man picks it up, and he has sex with it. That's exactly what happens. Until the very end when you fight, oh, spoiler alert, motherfucker, your wife, she a hot hoe, she turned into a crazy hoe. First she a hot hoe trying to boss you around and be secretive, and then she turns into this crazy lady and just tries to kill you. I don't know why, but she did. So I killed her, fuck her, in her loose ass. I don't know why, but they try to make that main bad guy, not the last boss, but the main bad guy in the sewers and all that shit. And uh, they made him look like me. What the motherfuck? I know I'm the greatest. I know I'm the best. I know I be getting all this attention from the motherfucking internet and the press. Yeah, I know how to rhyme, motherfucker. Fuck you. But anyway, I ain't that guy. I'm from the motherfucking hardcore streets. I'm not a mind fucker. I'm just a fucker. And I'll fuck you up with my motherfucking fist. So fuck you. So anyway, uh, we uh, had that guy designed after me. But then what they had to do at the end was do a gauntlet of bosses from the last game because they realized, oh shit, all our bosses are the same. They don't even, I don't know, they don't present nothing different. Sometimes I had trouble with that because, you know, this game was weird. It had some, like, gun issues, like gunshots. Don't register all the time. Like, you shoot them if you shoot them too fast. It just don't register. Now, when I took my gun and shot up the McDonald's, every shot that hit registered. People didn't get all of a sudden invincible for two or three seconds because they had to do an animation or anything. No, everybody felt that shit. So, I don't know why they did that, but uh, also this weird issue where like, I shoot the gun and like, you, the sound effect and the registration don't even happen until a second later or whatever, I don't even know. So, weird issue there that uh, yeah, I don't know, made me very upset. Okay, my favorite boss was the singing boss. She liked to sing a lot of songs. She pop up a lot, and eventually you gotta get by her anyway. But uh, I thought she was really cool. I loved her song. I wanted her to come into my bedroom and sleep with me and sing while I'm sleeping and ooh, while I have sex with her. She gonna just sing and sing and sing, singing me a happy, happy, happy song. That's about all I gotta say about this game. I mean, it was pretty fun, motherfucker, but uh. It has lots of issues. They they changed the game and not in a good way. They ruined my evil within. But for this game that's trying to be more like an uncharted and a little open worldish with side missions and shit, it ain't that bad. So uh, I'm gonna go get a bag of crack now and uh, just think about what I just said. So. This is Jamal left up your ass, Johnson. Signing off. Bye. What the hell?